The following video contains sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Well, I'm back from my YouTube retreat. Pero sa totoo lang, you do have to note this. You do note this. Nakakasabaw ang gumawa ng mga topics. Lalong lalo na at this point. Uh, tsaka nung nirecord ko to, magahating gabi na rin, so... Yeah, sabaw na sabaw na talaga ako. Kung papatanong ka na lang talaga eh, in outrage. I mean, katulad ng karakter ni Baron Geisler sa ang probinsyano, nasaan ang sabaw? Hi guys, Ian here, and I'm back from my social media retweet. Actually, YouTube retweet lang naman talaga, hindi na, ano, hindi na, hindi naman siya yung full social media, ano, uh, retweet talaga. Pero yun nga. So, I'm going to get an insight on a lot of things. Not really a lot of things, pero yung mga medyo, medyo nag-tending talaga by the, uh, during the time that I am not creating a video. Dalawang bagay lang naman yun, pero yung isa is medyo malaki. So, pasadahan ko na. So, first off, Julia Barreto and Gerald Anderson, they allegedly did something. Uh, they were paired for a movie, but they, they allegedly did something. Ang isa sa mga hint nun is yung isang video kung saan gumawa sila ng isang taste test. Tapos ang nakomment ni Gerald eh, sa, sa isang food item eh, matamis na maalat siya. Hindi ko alam kung anong pagkain yun, pero na Julia's reaction was, parang ikaw. Okay, <laughs> what the bloody hell just happened? Pinravo Juliet ba ni Julia si Gerald? Well, that's only a speculation, pero the fact na they were paired for this movie and Julia broke up with Joshua Garcia and Gerald broke up with Bea Alonzo, shit's about to get real. I mean, shit already got real. Parang nagdidiss na <laughs> si Bea na medyo ma nakamove on na daw siya. Oh my goodness. Ah, sa totoo lang, ayaw ko talaga magganan sa showbiz. Pero kasi, medyo red mark talaga to sa, ano eh, sa pagdating sa culture shit. So, ito naman, yun naman talaga yung main theme naman talaga ng video ko. So, I would have to get into this as much as I hate it. So, yun. Another thing. Yang Constantino. Una sa lahat, I'm very sorry that uh, her husband well, uh, got into an accident sa, Shar sa Shargao yata yun. and uh, he was not treated uh, properly or hindi siya na treat kaagad or hindi siya na bigyan ng medical attention kaagad or something but the thing is even though she has a point that uh, healthcare should be uh, improved in the whole country in general she named the GP or the doctor uh, who was supposed to uh, assist them in whatever concern they have. Yang has a point, but naming the GP, GP is general practitioner. It's an Australian term for a doctor. Eh? Naming the GP is too much. Rami sa medical community ang nagsasabi na bawal yan, Yang ah. Pwede, kitang kas pwede ka namin kasuhan sa ginagawa mo. And true enough, I don't know kung may nagkaso na sa kanya pero nagsorry naman siya but the damage is done. Tignan natin kung may lumabas na uh, lawsuit laban kay Yeng. Basically, ito mga katulad ni Yeng Constantino, they're celebrities. They have the fame that they fortunately or unfortunately have and somehow masasabi ko na talagang Maganda naman talaga yung intensyon ni, ano eh, ni Ms. Yeng eh. The thing is, 
yun nga eh. Mali din talaga yung pinangalan niya yung GP eh. Kahit naman siguro si Makagago eh, hindi niya, hindi siya mang name drop. Lalong lalo na kung mga critical services yan, katulad ng mga doktor, mga healthcare, healthcare workers and all, all those other professions. Yung mga, mga nasa hip hop industry or some entertainment industry, sige talagang ano yan, talagang bread and butter na yan ni Mark Jason pero uh, sa totoo lang mga kababayan mali talaga yun ang, ang ginawa niya ano yun, ginawa niya yun. period tignan natin kung itong sense of entitlement na gustong ipakita ni Yeng eh magre-resulta sa isang lawsuit many in the medical community wants to have a lawsuit against Yang Constantino but time will only tell. Kaya medyo mabigat dito kay Gerald and Julia kasi this is just an effect of a very very heavy root cause and that is the sexual revolution. Another news is that the guy who was involved or the one who yung parang pinasikat niya yung true love weights na uh, advocacy tong true love weights parang ang ang ibig lang sabihin nito in layman's terms work now marry later what happened is this guy has just announced recently that he is divorcing his wife which is very tragic but Julia and Gerald was involved in the culture of hookups or the hookup culture we're in because of this two love weights thing we're in you work now marry later para bongga yung kasal ninyo and you have the family life that you have because there are some who can't wait why not normalize premarital sex which is another bad thing kumbaga dahil sa kultura na trabaho ko muna saka ka na magpakasal eh human nature dictates that sometimes hindi mo talaga may iwasan na gagawa at gagawa ka na isang bagay na talagang urges mo talaga and uh, lalo lalo na kung nasa isang relationship ka of course, sex is reserved only for people who get married, pero minsan may mga ibang tao talaga na ang tagal-tagal nilang maghintay ang tagal-tagal nilang naghahanap ng taong kukumpleto sa kanila and we can't blame them all kasi may mga nangyayari talagang ganun this hookup culture was just a cultural manipulation that is rooted into uh, rooted from something which started from the 1960s at yun ay ang sexual revolution the sexual revolution ito yung ito yung time na nauso ang playboy, nauso yung mga medyo radical thoughts when it comes to sexuality and all that shit. The sexual revolution was a very uh, troubling time when it comes to the cultural identity of many people in the world, not just in America not just the West. It resulted it resulted also on things like allowing contraception, tolerating abortion, the existence of toxic homosexuality dahil may mga homosexuals na talaga na sobrang matinu talaga. I've uh, delved deep on that on that matter in some of my previous videos. It all of them is on the, in the description below and sadly because of all of these many many children are mentally scarred At ang napakalala dito the sexual revolution brought about a vicious cycle of bad parents misguided children promiscuous and overly con curious teenagers and irresponsible and immature adults because of this work now marry later concept most people seek for their worth only to lose precious time doing so 
it's not a bad concept per se, pero syempre, it's very concerning. Lalong-lalo na, dahil sa concept na work now, marry later, pardon me for the terms, pero dahil sa kakahintay ng kakahintay ng kakahintay ng kakahintay, may mga tao talaga na hindi maiwasang maging tigang. So, yun. And, sadly, it's, it's the truth. One of the persons who I really think made me do this video is a guy named Jordan Guerrero. Brother Jordan Guerrero. He is the officiant of the ordinary admission team in Manila. Uh, siya yung nag officiate no even song or Vespers and Compline in the Anglican tradition within the Catholic Church. Uh, because, nangyabi din yun sa kanya, he was in his 30s when he married his now wife, who was on her 20s. Uh, they have a daughter, around 10 years old na rin. And uh, they just became Catholic. They got into full communion with the Catholic Church just this Easter Vigil of this year. May, may mga, may mga sabi siya sa akin na minsan nire-regret ko na medyo matagal ako nagpakasal. It's not really a bad thing talaga. If you get married late, minsan yun talaga nangyayari. But, you know, it all boils down with the question, why am I a bit passionate about these kind of things? Simple answer. I am a late bloomer. And I have a lot, a lot to catch up. Sa totoo lang, napakahirap mag-catch up. Lalong lalo na kapag may mga processes ka na iskinip para lang makasabay ka sa mga kasamahan mo. Lalong lalo na nung nag-aaral ka pa. So, ngayon ko pa lang na experience yung mga dapat na experience ko na at least nung college so yun uh, it's the sad fact that I'm uh, living right now pero you know everything is grace at least may nangyayari pa rin na mabuti it's basically the same thing for those who marry later in life kung saan mas marami kang natututunan in a much painful process in a shorter span than in the longer span that you're a single. So, maybe I'll delve deeper into become on what it is to become a late bloomer or what what is it to be a late bloomer. I have to cut this video. I edit ko pa to. But, this, these are my insights. And with that said, this is Ian. And until then, See you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Ian again. So, bago, uh, just the last few thoughts. Bago ho simulan mag-edit. Number one, uh, siguro next video ko talaga is about the sa late bloomer thing. Uh, I have to admit, medyo pa paiyak na ako, pero no. Yon, di, na ako, di pa ako paiyak nun. So, so, sorry kung medyo ma- using a major croaky or major na kakrak ng bosses ko. Uh major date na rin kaya siguro ganun. Number 2. Uh there's this thing called triage wherein you classify ko yung pinaka urgent sa uh, mga medical uh assistance sa kailangan gawin ng isang paramedic or isang medical staff whether uh on the scene of uh of a casualty or mass casualty incident or pag nasa hospital ka. So, uh, siguro hindi yun, di pa yun naiintindihan ni Ian Constantino yung concept ng triage pero ako rin, kailangan ko rin uh, malaman ng maigi yung concept ng triage. So, yun lang. And number three, Gerald Anderson is an absolute dickhead kasi nakailang babae na rin yun. So, 
Uh, if ever he's wearing a uniform and all that shit, that's a Philippine Ghost, Ghost Guard Auxiliary. So, lahat na mga tao, everyone in the uniformed services na apektuhan. So, Gerald Anderson, I don't know what's going on with your life right now, pero the fact na marami ka nang naging babae and, uh, with the, the controversy that you're in right now, you have to defend yourself and you have to prove yourself that you're not a dickhead because with what's going on here, I think you are. So, yun lang. Edit ko na to. Good night, guys. Bye.